So now what we're going to do is um, on our model XLC, we're going to start the software, log in, and then we're going to do a couple of things that we have to do to prepare to start a synthesis and then go through the process of setting up a synthesis. That's what we're going to do now. To get the software started, we double click on this desktop icon right here, and then we'll get a screen open up. Um, when we log in, uh, so this screen you can keep from opening if you uncheck this box. It's a software license agreement that tells you that you don't own the software, but you have a license to use it. Um, kind of standard stuff. I'm going to dismiss it for now. Uh, we get our normal login screen. We can type in a username and password. We have to type in a username and password. Three levels of login. Act, um, administrator, supervisor, and operator. The administrator login can do pretty much anything. Supervisor can do everything except for manage usernames and passwords. And then operator can uh, operate the instrument, choose things that they need to set up a run, but they cannot change anything in the settings or in the protocols or anything like that. So we're gonna type in an administrator login. And to do that, I'm gonna roll out my keyboard here. I'm going to type in username and password, administrator. And admin1 for a password. So I will log in. Uh, part of the login process allows you to choose a settings file. Settings file has all kinds of settings in it. We're not going to get into what that is. But you can have as many of these as you like. Right now we have only one on this system. Uh, we would choose the one we want and then we would accept and log in. Once we log in, this is our main screen that comes up. What we want to do now is to go into the manual mode so that we could prime our nozzles and visually make sure that we have liquid coming out. To do that, we click on manual mode and we come to this screen. In this screen we have something over here called auto purge. If I click on that, it will bring up this screen. It says to make sure that settings are correct so that you can use this screen. So I'm gonna say proceed. On here, I can select any of the reagents that are installed on my instrument, and I can select where to dispense them to um, into in this section here. If I wanna dispense into the A plate, I can dispense here. And if I want, and I can give it a time. Suppose I want to give it like uh, four seconds. So um, what I'm doing here is I am going to dispense from each reagent and visually observe that all nozzles flow correctly. So to do that, I would come to this screen. I would raise up my nozzle plate using this control over here. Once it's up, then I'll be able to visually look under here and see reagent flowing. On this instrument, I don't have any reagents installed today, so you won't actually see any flow, but the way this works is that uh, if I say um, uh, start auto purge, then it will tell me that it wants to find home, so it will do that first. Once it finds home, which is a known location, so that it can find other locations, then it will go and move along, and I would be watching see some reagent coming out. I said there was none in there, but anyway, it's just a little re residual, but I would watch uh, to make sure that all my nozzles are flowing correctly. And it's going to do four seconds for each one of them that I've selected, and if that's good, uh, when it's finished, then I will move on to the next part of the um, setup. Uh, I'm not going to continue this, I'm going to stop it for now. Okay, and then return. Okay, so once I have set that up, then uh, this is my manual mode screen. I'm noticing that I've got a red light up here. It's telling me that one of my pressures is low. It says the activator and pressure is low, which I can also see up here. You see this is red. Um, if it were green, it would uh, be okay. So it's a little on the low side, so I need to increase it 
until it changes to green, which I think should be when it hits around 8 PSI, if I remember right, or 7.5, there you go. Um, so we are monitoring, I didn't point that out yet, but we are monitoring the pressures, uh, critical pressures on the instrument that's tied into the software. It will indicate if there's a problem. It will not let you run if it does not have the right pressure in the right locations. And if the pressure, uh, during a run, if the pressure drops too low, then it will pause the synthesis. All right, so if I've got my nozzles all working the way they should, I can return to get out of this manual mode screen. And back to my main screen. So now I'm gonna continue with setting up a run.